it is a welcome and a joy to say hi to Julianne Moore. <laughs> you are so beautiful. You look so good. Congratulations really? on your show. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Spoken by the woman who literally is my beauty style, hair, eye, skin, nose, face, and decorative icon, by the way. <laughs> Which yeah, we'll, thank you. we'll thank get you. into that. But your family, like your love story with your husband is such relationship goals. And I know you just posted something about your right. anniversary. And I remember years ago hearing you two got together, you had made this right. film and you fell in love. And yeah, I just, I, your, your love story yeah. is such relationship goals. Well, I will tell you, you know, what's really funny about it is that you say years ago, it was 24 years ago. That's what's shocking to us. We're like, we met 24 years ago. Can I ask you a weird personal question? Like sure. you and your husband are so amazing. Like, do you have any tips for people on like an awesome, <laughs> like union marriage? Like, do you have a secret? Do you have something That's you turn to? Like. I, I I think a lot of us, you know, would love to know if you have any tips or insight. <laughs> I think, I mean, the only thing that I can say, I think that you both have to really want to be married. I, I do I do feel like I've seen situations where things aren't working out for people because one of the one of the members of the of the couple doesn't want to be there. So as, as I think if you're both invested in it working out and that and uh, that's important, and then you really have to have a good time. My God, you have to, they, I think they really have to make you laugh. If they don't make you laugh, it's just deadly. Um, and somebody asked me that if it felt like a long time, and I was like, oddly, no, it doesn't. I mean, I think that's what's, that's what's been nice about it. It doesn't feel like a long time. And, and But now, I mean, our kids are, our kids are 18 and 22. How old are your kids now? Um, they're six. Frankie's six. Um, she'll yeah. be seven, and Olive turns eight like any second. So. Oh my goodness. I know. So are they in school virtually? They no, must be. They went. They went back. Um, so, and I had such a struggle with it because as a yeah. parent, I wasn't sure. And for the show's mm -hmm. sake, I was worried about what they were going to bring back in. But then I thought, oh my yeah. God, what a Hollywood stage nightmare mother I would be. <laughs> like, you can't go to school because mom can't get sick at her job. So I was like, <laughs> guess what? We're just rolling the dice. Because every time you try to plan, it's so terrifying yeah. and everything keeps having to pivot anyway. So I feel yeah. like it's almost rude to wrestle anymore and just succumb. Well, you know, my daughter um, was a camp counselor at this little camp, you know, that she that she went to when she was a kid. She's always a camp counselor there. And she had three and four year old girls and the counselors all wore masks. But the kids didn't because they were too little and everybody was fine. They were all OK. And those little kids were all over her, you know. So I do think with testing and everything like that, things can be done safely. But it's hard. It's really hard. I know. All of a sudden, a hug has so much more than just a hug. I know. Like, will I get sick hugging you? Will I make you sick? This is a lot yeah. going into a quick hug. Oh, wait, yeah. is your daughter on TikTok? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you joined her for some TikToks? There might have been a couple, but you know, nothing. I don't. I. Oh no. Um, yeah, there might have been something. I think there was one where I was doing the dishes, and she went. It was some TikTok where you're supposed to like do something with your mom or something. Anyway, I, I participated in that without my knowledge. So I'm excited that we both have a love of design. Yes, yes, absolutely. It's my big, it's my hobby. It's my, uh, my big hobby. Where did it all start for you, the love of design? It was my mother, you know? I mean, I, I don't think I realized how much I was absorbing from her, but she was the kind of person who really cared how things looked. And she... Um, you know, my parents were students for a really long time, so I never had any money. So she would do things like make her own slip covers. She's always sewing things and refinish furniture herself. And she loved to tour historical homes and stuff. She would bring me along with her. And she she would do things like organize the silverware drawer a certain way just because it looked better. And I realized that I just I just sort of absorbed it all and I and stuff that I care about now too. But yes, all I want to do is look at architectural digest. That's my favorite thing. So your mom is like Martha Stewart and Marie Kondo before <laughs> they existed. She kind of was. I mean, she was. I think not not at that same level, but yeah, she definitely was interested in that stuff, and and it just rubbed off. I think sometimes in the world of design, 
you know, things are expensive or they come from, you know, another person's taste. Yeah. And so your mom was like how she made things. That's like gifting and design. Like the best things are stuff of what you bring to the table, your craft, your sense of style. Oh my gosh. Yeah, absolutely. It's funny when my kids were little and they, but they would bring home all of these things, you know, they bring home so much artwork. Um, I wouldn't, I didn't keep all of it, you know, but I always found something that I would, that I really loved that they made and I'd frame it or, or, or keep it around. And it's sort of indistinguishable from the other things that I've collected because I was even specific about that, but it has to have some kind of a meaning to you. I mean, that's what makes, that's what makes a home interesting. And I think even in terms of furniture designers, I'm, I'm always interested in seeing their, their hand, you know, their craft. That's, that's what I, I love to live with. It's the representation of, of, of people and what they do.